Good evening. What a glorious Washington evening to be here. I take special pride uh, to introduce uh, Jenny Bush. Uh, being from St. Louis, uh, we love the fact that uh, you're sponsoring this, but also the leadership that you have brought, your family has brought, to uh, the passion for conservation. You know, walking in here and seeing these animals tonight, it really brings in the, the, the childlike curiosity uh, and passion for nature, for wildlife, and we all know uh, in this environment they are at risk. And without real leadership and real commitment, we know that these species may not survive and thrive on this earth with us. I think uh, the prayer we heard earlier about uh, being just stewards of the earth uh, is a great description of what uh, Jenny has done with her leadership role uh, through the company and throughout many of their enterprises and we're just so proud of what you've done and uh, thank you uh, for what you have done here tonight to bring us all together to focus our work in the months and years ahead. And I'm proud to introduce Jenny Bush. Let's give her a big welcome. Well, thank you, Congressman Carnahan. It's nice to have someone from my hometown introduce me. I live right in St. Louis, Missouri. Well, I had to bring an animal up here with me, since uh, that is sort of our mantra at Seawold and Bush Gardens. You're going to learn a little bit about her in a second. But on behalf of the Anheuser Bush Companies and Seawold and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund, I really am honored to be here tonight to help promote conservation of habitat and biodiversity around the world. I'd like to thank the International Caucus Conservation Foundation for their leadership, especially David Barron, for their dedication, their support of our world's, and their support of our world's natural heritage, and for hosting this beautiful reception. It's been wonderful up here tonight. Together, in public and private partnerships, we can work to benefit people and, of course, wildlife. I'm joined by Maddie, an American bald eagle, who was injured in Florida, and she was rescued by the Audubon Center in Maitland, Florida. <coughs> she cannot be returned to the wild, though. You can see that her left wing is a little bit lower than the right, so she is unable to fly sufficiently, but she, of course, is one of our animal ambassadors that we use at these type of receptions, so you all can learn about animals and become quite passionate about them, and hopefully take that home with you and help promote conservation, whether that's through simple actions or whether that's through supporting conservation uh, organizations like the Seal and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund. Well, a conservation ethic has run very deep in my family. Anheuser-Busch's environmental commitment dates back to 1899, when my great-great-grandfather first recycled used brewer's grain to feed cattle. And that still happens today, if you can believe it. Today, Anheuser-Busch operates under the same basic ethic fueled by innovative technology and passionate employees. Our brewery facilities practice system-wide energy and water conservation, waste reduction, and recycling. In addition, our employees regularly participate in community cleanups and local habitat restoration projects. This commitment is practiced every day at every facility in every community in which we do business. This same commitment is also demonstrated by the company's adventure parks, Silo Bush Gardens and Discovery Co. A world renowned, our world renowned for providing up close animal encounters and unparalleled entertainment experiences for more than 20 million guests a year. Since the park first opened in 1959, the Anheuser Busch Adventure Parks have shared a common passion, and that's animals. This passion is reflected throughout our park's award winning zoological habitats, innovative veterinary care, animal rescue and rehabilitation efforts, and education programs and critical conservation initiatives worldwide home to 15,000 animals, representing more than 100 endangered, threatened, and at-risk species. Zero Bush Gardens and Discovery Co. care for the largest zoological collection of animals in the world. At the heart of the park's environmental commitment is our Animal Rescue and Rehabilitation Program. Since 1970, Zero Bush Gardens has rescued more than 14,000 animals, many in injured or ill due to human causes, whether that's from boat strikes, or of course from uh, Maddie crawling out of a tree here and having to be rehabilitated. Data gathered as a result of these rescue rehabilitation efforts help scientists 
working with some of the environmental partners that we have here tonight, that we have here tonight to accurately assess, engage environmental changes and assist population management programs. Some have argued that rescue intervention, intervention efforts cannot truly be defined as conservation, as nature should be allowed to take its course. But our position on this is simple. The day humans stop impacting wildlife is the day we stop responding to animals in crisis. This commitment extends far beyond the parks themselves. Over the past three decades, the parks have worked to protect at-risk animals and habitats around the world. In 2003, the SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Conservation Fund was launched to significantly expand this work and focus on the world's most critical wildlife conservation challenges. In its first four years of operation, the fund has granted more than three and a half million dollars to 250 projects in 60 countries. It's not bad for an organization that's only four years old. While the researchers, conservationists, and educators who work on the projects we fund deserve accolades and continued support, we know that real, long-term conservation only happens when everyday people, you, me, and your neighbor, begin challenging our behavior, begin changing our behaviors and consumer decisions. We can all find simple, easy ways to make a difference and, in effect, change the world. Caring for the environment is not only a part of Anheuser-Busch's heritage, it is a commitment we work to honor in partnership with many conservation organizations and others around the world. It is also a passion I am confident we share with everyone in this room. So with that said, I ask all of you to please raise your glass and join me in a delicious Anheuser-Busch product. I had to bring the beer out. So let's toast all of those on behalf of wildlife and the natural world.